Hi, this is Mark from Right Line Trading. Um, today is uh, April 9th, 2014, and um, I wanted to um, uh, go over with you our uh, trades from today. Um, today was a rugged morning, early morning. Uh, the toughest, I, I might as well go over crew with you first, because that's where uh, um, I got really hammered actually and this is where you have to have this is really um, in a sense what separates you as a professional day trader because when your signals just don't work and you take really good trades and uh, a whole bunch of them in a row don't work and you've traded yourself into a hole for the day if you have faith in, in, your, in the system and faith in what you're doing just hang in there um, the market's going to come back to you um, you know that uh, you know the predictive va of value of your signals, and um, uh, you're going to trade your way right back. So my first trade, uh, the 50 was heading up hard. This was a move through the 50. I didn't come with a three line or two line signal, but structurally it was just a perfect setup. Maybe it was a little bit of of, a, of an aggressive uh, move because it was a break of the 50 and a break of the 15, and it didn't have order flow and momentum with it, but it collapsed, and it was a failure. I'm trading on in crude. Then this was a perfect trade. This was, let me take up off all of these. Oh, that's actually part of our indicator. What we got was we got a beautiful move up and a break. And then we got this great C candle that engulfed right off of the 50 with the 15 heading up right back down um, for minus 10. Then the market collapsed. We had the 50 and the 15 down. I took it short on a break of the um, 15 with order flow and momentum in our direction, and it went four ticks. No dice. Three losers in a row. Minus 10, minus 10, minus 6 on four contracts. That's, um, that's over a $1,000 drawdown right at the open of trading, and that's at 9.40 in the morning. Um, that's how we started. So... I was obviously not happy and um, uh, worried, but I just knew that if we pressed ahead, everything would work out. Um, next signal was a, a really perfect break of the 50 and 15. Uh, it came with order flow and momentum in our direction and stochastic, all three, uh, down for a first target, plus five. This is an auto trader trade and a trade we took in the room. Um, we got a push down through a rising 50. We couldn't take it. Waited for the retracement back into the modified 15. Came down another first target. Then we had this break of the 15 right here. Um, 50s down, 15s down, order flow stochastic momentum are with us, and bam, we got 13 ticks. So we came back with three straight winners on the on crude oil. And then we went, to, we had no trades on gold today, then on the Russell. We had this really, really nice trade. Move down, retracement. There's your momentum entry. Comes with order flow and momentum to the downside in your direction. 13 ticks, two targets. Beautiful. Rolling 50. This is the only time we, we can take a short um, on a C candle. Um, short a, uh, a 50 that's green. It's rolling. The modified 15 is coming down like a rocket. 
This is engulfing almost directly off the 50, down for 18 ticks. Then we had this move, uh, 50 and 15 are both down, break of the 15 with order flow stochastic and momentum in our, momentum in our direction, down for 6. So we closed the session with 6 winners in a row and actually wound up trading ourselves back to profitability. And that's just how you do it. So for the day, we wound up on crude, plus 13, plus 7, plus 5. There's my minus 10, my minus 10, and my minus 6. Russell, plus 13, plus 18, plus 6. Net ticks were 34. Net equity was $160. Um, given the fact that we started off over, down over a thousand and just slowly worked our way back with six winners in a row and of those six one two three were first targets three were second targets and three were first targets um, if I had a bad day the auto trader is going to have a bad day um, the auto trader had four winners and four losers it lost eight hundred dollars, and one trade that it did that it didn't take is actually an electronic glitch. It should have had a two-target winner. It was a two-target winner that I had. It got in a candle late. Um, that would have dropped that minus five hundred to minus three, eight hundred to minus five hundred, and um, w would have given us a uh, positive week so far. But given what the auto trader did for the week, the auto trader is down two hundred dollars. Um, for the week, we are up. Um, 1,160. We made 600 on Monday, 400 yesterday, and 160 today. And these are all exact entries, scaled to our exact ATM strategies with an exact net equity. We don't play games with so many points, and you know you make five points and then subtract five points because you and I both know that um, if you take a 10 tick loss on four contracts, you're out, you're out $400. In order to trade your way back, for us, for on our scaling, if you take a um, if you take a second target win, you only make three hundred. Um, so it takes it's a lot tougher to to trade back, and you, and you need a lot more ticks uh, coming up because we scale in than you do um, on on the losing end. But we were able to do it, so um, we're pushing ahead this week. Uh, another net positive equity day. Uh, and um, the auto trader took it took a little bit of a hit today we're not going to hide it from you I mean the auto trader is going to have drawdown days it hasn't had many but today was one of those days um, it's down two hundred dollars for the week uh, I, I, I will be very surprised if uh, by the end of the week it, it, it doesn't make money um, for the tr for its um, for its users um, so that's it for the day. Uh, I, I guess I can I can uh, title the video "How to uh, Trade Your Way Out of a uh, Ten Foot Hole." Um, just stay calm, and um, it's dedication to principle and patience. I call I, I, I I'm sorry to um, uh, to patience and discipline. Really, uh, that's all it is. Stay with your plan. Do not get overly aggressive. Don't quit though. I know a lot of people. They hit. They hit a. Um, they hit a certain negative amount, and then they close up. And there's no reason to do that. If you have faith in what you're doing, uh, and you believe your signals are valid, if they come, why should you not take them? So if you're down early in the morning, and the market still has the whole afternoon to offer you up great trades, why are you going to bail on the market? Just have patience and discipline. Trade your plan wait for the market to come to you and you're going to wind up trading your way back if not all the way to profitability and then some you're going to you're going to definitely trade back and and get out of the hole you're in um and the other thing this illustrates is as great as i believe these signals are and i don't i don't believe any system offers you signals with a greater positive predictive value than we do they sometimes fail and in any given market Occasionally, we're going to take losers, and we took them today. Um, so, listen. I hope everybody has a great day. Um, I look forward to um, to uh, uh, see you in the room. And I'm going to put up our slide here.
amazing technology, huh? Um, you can sign up for a free trial to our live trading room at www.rightlinetrading.com. Our results are posted there. There's a link to our live trading room. There's a link to our um, our uh, auto trader. You can email us at info at rightlinetrading.com. Also, there's a link uh, on the website to the um, sign up page um, of the web. Uh, sign up for a free trial, and you can call us at one eight five five seven six five six six eight one. I hope everybody has a wonderful afternoon, and I look forward to um, seeing you in the room.